Promise Land friends, I'm here in Leah and Grace's treehouse. Say hi to Leah and Grace. Hi. hi. Isn't this so cool? I thought I would read a story to you today about some people who didn't want to live in their house. Ready to hear it? Yep. Yep. All right, let's go. It's called We Were Tired of Living in a House. Are you tired of living in your house right no, now? Not yet. You're not tired but yet? But I want to run away. I think it's I'm tired of living in my house. So let's see where these kids end up living. It's written by Lizo Moek Scorpin. That's the author. And the illustrator is Joe Sepeda. Let's see what happens. We were tired of living in a house. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks, with mittens and earmuffs. Let's find out where they go. And we moved to a tree, kind of like in the tree that we're in right now. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. Until... We, we tumbled, tumbled out. out! Oh no! They tumbled out of their home. They're falling. But they're so happy. Oh dear. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks with mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and the lily pads. Below the fish darted and dragonflies above and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. Here's one. We liked our pond. Until we, we sank. Oh no, they fell off their home into the water. This fish is wearing a mitten. You see that? That's so funny. Oh dear, they gotta find a new house. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a okay. cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from a brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. Oh, she found some gems. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. What's gonna happen? Until we, we met, met the, the bears. bears. Oh, I think that might have been the bear's home already. It's already taken. Yeah. They don't look happy. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on the shore of salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves. She's hunting for the treasure. And they're running in the water. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant sounds of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. That's a huge castle. It's so big. It's a sand castle. How could it stay up? I don't know. Maybe they just really packed it with some glue. Until... The turn, the turn of the, of the tide. tide. Uh oh, the water came and swept their home away. So oh they dear. Can't do it. Look, they got their little frog friends still. Let's okay. see where they go next. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. Look at all that stuff. They didn't have that much stuff at the beginning. So we packed our bag with scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing the songs of the surf. There's a frog. There's the frog, there's the gems, there's the shell, and, so the, the, and the leaves. They got all the things from all their homes. And we went home to live in a house. I bet their mom and dad were really happy to see them. Mm -hmm. The end. 
What a great story. Thanks, Grace. Thanks, Leah.